Hey, pleasant good day, everybody. This is Sports on News. I'm going to bring this going to be a quick few minute video on the Tampa Bay Lightning advancing again for the third year in a row to the Stanley Cup in about 27 months. The third time in the Stanley Cup, as they have been there back to back to back years now, as Pat Maroon tries to go for his fourth Stanley Cup as he won the previous one in 19 with the St. Louis Blues, and then obviously the Lightning won the last three. But when it comes to Tampa, they're going to have a tough task. They're going to be going up against the Colorado Avalanche, who are the best by far of the West and have just been going rough shot through the NHL playoffs. Nachushkin, Landis Cog, obviously Miko Ratton as well. Comper has a guy that's very good in the playoffs, great two-way player, two-end player. So he brings a lot of value to the postseason as well. Those guys have been plenty full and plenty good. Even Newhook went in, has been good as well. Nicholas Albe Kubel doing more of what he did a couple years ago for the Flyers in the four checking perspective. Still taking some dumbass penalties, but still playing much better than he did in Philadelphia. So those things are really helping the Avalanche. So it's going to be a tough, tall task for the Tampa Bay Lightning to repeat three straight, but they do have the goaltending nod. Obviously, Darcy Kemper, from people that follow the channel, know that he's one of my favorite netminders, but Vasilevsky's the best on the damn planet, and he was a big reason why they were able to come back in that series because it did look like the Rangers were able to get a grip on the series. They had a great first game, won 6-2. to two. Had a good second game, won 3-2. to two. The Lightning then bounced back and went by the same score in the third game, but no big deal. They bounced back and went again, 4-1. to one. When the That was the one that was a big issue, though. Like you can't get smoked after, in Game 3, the Rangers actually had a chance in that loss through the two, so they still played solid, just got beat um, in a game that was a good battle between Shesterkin and Vasilevsky, like every damn game was in the series. All six of them were fantastic goaltender battles, my joy stuff to watch. I love uh, talking about goaltenders, and both of them had A++++ performances in this series, even down to the final game, where it was just wh whoever got the two first. Uh, one, and then that was the case, too, with Game 5, whoever got the two first one, and it was really the case with Game 4, too, because they won 4-1, to one, and the Rangers not able to generate anything on Vasilevsky. So after the first two games, Vasilevsky shut down the door. Igor Shosturkin, Prince Igor, also shut down the door of the series. His offense just laid him out to dry. They weren't able to get enough going. They weren't able to figure out a way to solve Vasilevsky. Of course, it's easier said than done, but that's still what happened, and that's the big culprit for why the Rangers fell and were not able to... Um, provide a spark to get into the Stanley Cup. So when it came to that series, the Rangers really were a disappointment because they started off good and then fell off of the complete cliff. But then in the turn tide, the Lightning were a very big um, success story because, yes, it's their third straight cup, but this one had adversity. They had to get past the Rangers team. That is going to continue to get better and become a dynasty over time. The great Pirlo wisdom and Steel Flyers, and I talked about that in our past episode, if you want to go back and check it out. But this team's going to be great for years to come when it comes to the New York Rangers. The Lightning were able to take them down after getting off to a slow bucket boost start in the first two games. They were able to bounce back in a great goaltender battle. But it's going to be a tough task. It's going to be a tall task for the Tampa Bay Lightning, or Tampa Bay Lightning as Tom Brady's now back down there too for the Buccaneers. It's going to be a tall task for them though against the Colorado Avalanche. I'll be doing a series preview for that coming up shortly, either later today or tomorrow, whenever the hell I put it out. But peace out, everybody. Stay safe. Please subscribe down below. Above them, the easy to keep trying to grow to the goal of 260 or more by the middle of July. Peace out, everybody.